Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are not new. Today we have a jewelry collection video and I'm super excited to film this today because I know that I've received so many questions about it and you guys are like, where's your jewelry collection? Where's the jewelry collection video? So it's finally here. Thank goodness. So I do want to just go ahead and jump into this. I do have quite a few pieces that I wear every day or interchangeably. So this is going to include those items. I will talk about necklaces first and then earrings and then rings. Earrings are very new to me so I'm very excited to chat a little bit more about that. Let's go ahead and get started with the necklaces. I obviously want to note that a few of my designer pieces are inspired and made from my personal jeweler except for my Tiffany ring which I will talk about that later of course. Let's go ahead and start with my necklaces. So here I have a Van Cleef Mother of Pearl. This one was made from my jeweler and I will tell you guys which pieces I got from the store and which are from my jeweler. So this is an earring bone necklace. These are all these are all 14k except for this one. This is 18k, all made with the same materials. This diamond necklace. I highly recommend everyone to get a singular diamond necklace because it is just super timeless, really classy. If you don't wear anything, just wear one of these. Mine is a 0.44 carat, so less than half a carat, but still a really decent size for a diamond necklace and it's like my favorite and then this necklace here i've gotten a few questions about this is a series of five uh five droplets and they're in a clover shape with four diamonds each and they kind of just hang like that and it looks really nice if you have a, an alhambra because the shape just goes really well together so this is my stack that i have on currently and like i said all of these are 14k except for this one this is 18k okay so next i'll go with the pieces that i have here on the side so this is a kind of small to larger small to larger diamonds i think the total carat weight for this is 0.3 total carat weight but these are very tiny this is also 14k the chain is a i don't know if it's a tiffany chain but it's very sparkly very pretty like it catches the light very nicely so this is one of my these are one of my favorite chains to have for the base of a necklace again 14k 0.3 carat total weight also i apologize if i don't know the total carat weight for all of them because i don't remember every single piece that i have this one is a paper clip necklace um this is just 14k gold i got it from a jeweler just like a random little shop here in downtown la also i do live in downtown la so i do have quite a few jewelers that i can just simply go to and get pieces made i do stick to my one personal jeweler for designer inspired pieces that i really like so that's something to note and i also get other pieces for like gifts and stuff for other people from her so this is just a paper clip necklace um i really like it it was really in style for a little bit but i just decided i don't i don't know what really i just didn't really wear it anymore so i have that and then this i think this one is actually one of my cooler pieces this is very similar to diamonds by the yard by tiffany but i do have a i do have an adjustable little ball here so you can actually pull it i don't know if you guys can see that but you can pull it to make it either shorter or longer so this is going to make it shorter obviously because when you clasp it like that it's shorter but then when you pull the little ball here it makes the necklace longer so it's really cool you can have a different length and there are one two three four five six seven nine ten diamonds on here so it's also really nice this one i don't remember the total carat weight it might be 0.4 these are actually really decent sized diamonds for a diamonds by the yard um piece so that's that and then let's go into earrings i do want to thank ideal for sponsoring a portion of today's video ideal is a sustainable jewelry brand and they have lab grown diamonds which i think is really great if you guys are into being more sustainable and more earth friendly i also think that lab diamonds are really great to take on vacation if um you're not really risking a lot in terms of cost you can always just repurchase them if you need to and one of the things that i really love about ideals modular concept and if you guys don't know modular you kind of just build off of a base kind of like modular homes 
if you guys are familiar with that term but you build off of a base so here i have a solo uh, a solo stud so i can either stick to the one stud for a more simple look so i'll go ahead and put that in so you guys can see and i have one piercing on this side and then i have two on my other ear but i completely forgot that i had a second hole so i didn't get like a chain or anything but i thought that would have been really cool so solo diamond the add-on is going to be the uma which is a teardrop teardrop hollow diamond add-on so i'll go ahead and add that you guys can actually see it on this side so that's what it looks like sorry it's upside down but really pretty their diamonds are very sparkly i even took it to my bestie and we love diamonds like we are always constantly looking at people's rings and everything <laughs> um so she even said that it was just really really well made so i was really happy about that yeah i've been wearing this one I, and then i also picked up the power ear cuff this one is a two stack ear cuff and i really liked this one because it kind of is just a little bit bigger than your natural like just gold ear cuff and it's not as boring it has a really nice shine to it especially if you have your hair up i think it's really nice another thing i also picked up was this lucia 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 so this one can actually go here at the bottom which i think is really pretty i did not use it as an add-on today but i think it's really pretty and it kind of just adds a little bit more sparkle to your ear and I love that you're able to dress up these pieces. I think it's really great that you have this concept because some people don't want to purchase just one pair of earrings. You also want things to work off of and it's already great if you already have a base and then you can just do the add-ons. This is a really great option to have if you just want to be more sustainable, more earth friendly. For me, I think I would benefit mostly while I'm traveling so I don't have to take my natural diamond pieces as they are going to be a little bit more expensive. I like that Ideal has a really great price point for everyone, especially since you are just building off of one item initially. Their pieces are stunning. I love all of the different options that they have. I think it's a very creative and innovative kind of design. As if you guys have jewelers near you, you can obviously go to your jeweler and tell them what you are looking for. And then they can actually do custom add-on pieces for you, which is something that I'm really interested in, especially because I like the big bling and everything. And I do plan on getting more ear piercings. So yeah, I think it's really great. I actually have this second hole pierce and I just found that out the other day. But yeah, I think it's a really cool concept. I really love it. And their packaging is also really, really nice. Like it just feels like you're getting a present. And I love that they put the time and effort into your package as well as your product. So it's always really nice to have a piece that really feels like it was made for you. Also, I do want to mention their two-year warranty. So if a diamond falls out or something happens to the gold, they are all 14K gold, which I love. I don't really like wearing anything less than 14K and I don't recommend it. I do really like that they do have a warranty to ensure the quality of their items. If you guys are interested, be sure to check out my link down below. I definitely be interested in seeing how these wear long term and then also some of their other dressier pieces like the dangly chains and stuff for the add-on modular earrings and i think it really made me realize that i do love earrings i just never took the time to invest in them i have to go see my jeweler next week so i'm definitely gonna let her know that there are a few pieces that i want for earrings so and also see if we can do something about the modular concept and add on to that so i think it'd be really great now we're gonna get into rings i have quite a few so i just want to go through them here on my like my everyday rings i wear these all the time this is going to be a thin dome pinky ring again all all 14k except this one's 18k and then another one is 18k so i'll let you guys know which one is which but 14k thin dome ring this is a diamond pave thin dome ring this is also in gold i got these resized as a size three they were a little bit too big for me so i just got them back recently and i'm super happy about it i love them so much you guys can find these on missouri i did not get them from missouri but i will leave the link down below because it's easier probably to purchase them there so i love those these are just really great every day sometimes i'll switch the diamond to the top but usually it stays at the bottom i like the way that that looks better and then this is my tiffany ring i got this in hawaii and i bought it when it was less than a thousand dollars i believe and i think the price has gone up since but um, this is just a really great everyday ring i like that it's a little bit more dainty than the cartier love rings although i do have one 
Um, so this is going to be the rose gold. And this is 18K rose gold for my jeweler. And I have three diamonds on him, I think. Yeah, so this is with three diamonds. And this is rose gold. It's super pretty. I actually got this as a stack to wear with my... Uh, I wanted a Boucheron inspired kind of stack. And... I'll show you guys what that looks like right now and i do although i do really like it it's not something that i wore all the time so that's kind of the stock that i initially wanted to wear together so this is a thin uh just a thin white gold 14k diamond band total carat weight is probably 0.23 or 0.27 i don't remember exactly but just a very simple very simple band nothing crazy this is a beaded this is a beaded ring and just 14k yellow gold really simple as well and then i have a set from missouri this is a wishbone stacker set so this one has a diamond super thin diamond one and then a thin um a thin gold band Sorry, the lighting's like not that great right now, but that's what that looks like. It is 14K, like I mentioned before. Um, this is one of my bigger, one of my bigger um, diamond half eternity bands. So I actually used to wear these together. This one is 0.56 total carat weight, 14K gold. Diamonds are a little bit bigger, obviously. Then I have two of, um, two identical thin diamond bands these are also half eternity and i got these for the purpose of sandwiching rings so i can actually wear my cartier ring i'll show you guys and it's the exact same band which is really nice so because of that i can virtually wear any ring in the middle and it'll be like a perfect it'll look very seamless because the top and the bottom are going to be the same yeah these are 0.36 0.36 or 0.34 total carat weight for each and 14k so those are really nice uh this is a ring my bestie actually got me from tj maxx they sell uh real diamonds i do have a certificate for it it's not gia it's j something but this one's really nice it's a half eternity i don't remember the total carat weight but it's half eternity it has two baguettes which i think is very different and it adds something to the ring which is really pretty and it's just really nice and thin, really simple. I wear this on just days that I want a little bit more on my finger, but something very simple. So that's what that looks like. I don't know if you can see the baguettes. You probably can. Yeah, like here. Here. That one's really nice. This one is actually my first string that I bought in New York in the Diamond District. This is very very sentimental to me although the diamonds are such poor quality and i wish that i had studied diamonds beforehand which i didn't but it's okay um so this one is a half eternity i have six diamonds i believe but you can see so many imperfections in them and i just this was very expensive this was like 850 and i was it eight yeah i had to have been 850 but this is 18k gold by the way i yeah i just remembered that so this one's 18k gold yeah, it has the inscription in there. Uh, it's very yellow compared to like my other pieces. Although my Tiffany's is also 18K, but the color is not the same. But yeah, the diamonds are just not the great quality, not the greatest quality, but I did get it because it was just my first piece and I was super excited to be in the diamond district. But the more that I studied diamonds, the more I realized that my ring was very poor quality, which you live and you learn. And it's okay. I do still really like it. I think it's just the sentimental aspect of it. Like my first big girl piece of jewelry that i had no clue about but just decided to buy it i think i might want to make it into something else like maybe just a necklace with like a bar and then just have the diamonds in there even though they're not the best and then maybe get the gold band with I don't know, something just do something different with the gold my first piece and i absolutely loved it at the time i was so excited i was taking pictures always posting it just because the diamonds were so shiny to me at the time i mean they're still shiny and they still are very pretty but like i said not the best quality so i guess i personally think i saved the best for last this is my sapphire eternity band it's a full eternity band this is actually a lab uh these are actually lab sapphires so another lab piece that I have in my collection. 
The gold is 14K gold and this was made by a jeweler in China for me. China actually has a lot of really great distributors for jewelry if you guys didn't know and I am actually very interested in seeing more of what they have. They also make designer pieces inspired and all the same raw materials. Um, I've seen their bracelets for Van Cleef and they're absolutely gorgeous. So definitely interested in getting a few of those but oh actually this is not this is the last spring but i didn't tell you guys about my bracelets so i'll go into that in, the, in just a minute this is actually a ring my late grandmother had one identical and actually because i have these two this is actually how her ring was i think she had a sandwich on hers with gold no with diamonds on the top and the bottom so this was how her ring was and it was silver actually hers was silver but i opted for gold because you guys know i love gold that's just my thing so ended up getting it with gold um the sapphires are like super perfect obviously because they are diamonds they're going to be perfect made perfectly every single time it's hard to mess it up when you don't mind them and you get them like like you know you're able to create them yourself i was not able to uh inherit her jewelry because other family members were before me so i really wanted something to commemorate her life in mine and as she is my grandmother so a company reached out and they said hey we would love to make a piece for you like is there something that you're interested in and immediately this was the first thing that came to mind and if i didn't get it with them i probably would have gotten it with my jeweler so yeah this was just something that my grandmother had and i wanted something that was near near identical to her so i remember i had a picture of her hands in the casket and i sent them that picture which is actually like probably really dark but i sent them the photo and they were able to create it for me asked me a few questions what kind of style i wanted how big i wanted them the total carat weight which i don't remember honestly it's pretty big like for an eternity band i think it's it might be five carats total weight but yeah this just this piece just means everything to me it's so beautiful it's just very like classic kamai jewelry that you would pass down um i definitely want to get more pieces in sapphire and emeralds but um in terms of gemstones but i've just been sticking to diamonds lately but i will expand my jewelry collection of course in the future after i get pieces that i've been wanting so yeah and then i also have her initials in here and it has the 14k gold inscribed in here and also her initials lv which means so much to me so every time i see this i just think of her and it makes me like super sad but also just i hope she's happy where she is this piece means a lot to me this is like my most prized possession let's get into bracelets bracelets i will go on this hand first i only have one so this is a nord green watch that i wear all the time and then this bracelet is my i get van cleef bracelet for my jeweler i love it 18k gold i have worn this since i got it i don't think i've ever taken it off maybe for like a day or two but i love this bracelet so much wear it every day very good quality that's pretty much all i have to say it's not very sensitive i would like i don't think it's very sensitive to water or anything and i always shower with it like i said i don't take my pieces off so i have that and then on this side, I have my earring bone bracelet. This is 14K gold. This is my evil eye bracelet. So it has sapphires on the outside and then the middle eye is a sapphire. And then there's diamonds in between for the white part of the eye. Then my tennis bracelet is actually total weight, three carats and size is six and a half, I believe. Um, so it kind of just dangles like that. And it's in yellow gold 14k but i actually want to get it dipped in white gold just so the diamonds look a little bit bigger when you, when you get tennis bracelets in silver it makes the diamonds look a little bit bigger if you get them in yellow gold it makes them look smaller tennis bracelets are traditionally made with made with white gold but because i love yellow gold so much i decided to get it in yellow gold but the more that i look at it i see other people's tennis bracelets and they have the same exact carat weight as me and i feel like mine just looks a little bit smaller because of like the yellow gold because of like the outside bezels yeah so that is those are all my choice i do actually plan on adding a few more pieces within the next few weeks i am traveling a little bit so um hopefully i have a few pieces ready for me before i do decide to travel but 
yeah i'm very happy with everything that i have now i wear everything all the time and if there's anything that you guys are curious about go ahead and let me know i am more than happy to talk more about it in the comments down below i think pieces that i've already told you guys i'm interested in obtaining are well i ordered the justin clue bracelet with the gold um it's gold with diamonds the thin version so i will hopefully i have that by next week because getting a little impatient and i ordered it a while ago so that one's in 18k gold it's gonna be a little bit more which is fine but really excited to get that piece and then i also have a few things um that i talked about with my jeweler in terms of like adding to my ideal modular concept and also just little staple pieces that i've been looking at so i'll definitely do a part two if you guys are interested i definitely feel like i touched base on everything um also i am i do plan on getting this ring dip this is the rose gold one that i was talking to you guys about but i just realized that i don't really like rose gold so i think i'm gonna get it dipped in yellow gold and that way i can just wear it more often and it'll just go with everything because right now i'm just not really feeling the rose gold after all of my thoughts on my pieces and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry it took so long and yeah be sure to check out ideal in the description bar down below and hopefully i do have a code for you guys i also forgot to mention that my stud initially um is the solo 2 stud which is 0 0.2 0 0.2 carats i believe i hope i'm not mistaking that but i believe it's 0 0.2 carats which is smaller than my necklace so my necklace is actually from an earring that had a halo the center stone was 0.4 Four, four carats so the total carat weight was probably about five and they were just yellow gold with the diamonds inside and the halo so that's where this diamond came from but i did lose one part of it which literally i cannot believe i did that i still like hate myself for that these solo earrings they are pretty small like smaller than what i'm used to and so i would recommend to size up go with a solo three i think that's just a better size and i think it's still not even this size it's like 0.3 try and look at the photos and if you can try on some earrings in person definitely try to do that whether or not you're gonna buy them from whoever you try them on from um so i would just recommend that but thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again if you have any questions any concerns feel free to comment them down below and i cannot wait to show you guys some of the pieces that i ordered because i am just i'm super excited okay also i do want to note that i have a giveaway for this video i am going to be giving away a diamond necklace and this is just a singular diamond necklace it's going to be in yellow gold and i was thinking of doing rose gold because i feel like that would be better for people with lighter skin tones or darker skin tones but i think yellow gold i think goes well with lighter skin tones as well as long as it's not like a 24 karat or 22 karat gold so i'm gonna do a 14k gold with the diamond i'm thinking more like a 0.2 stone so for the diamond that i chose it is damn near flawless and it's such a great quality and like the four c's are just hitting it so that's going to be the giveaway prize for this video be sure to comment down below let me know what your favorite piece is i will choose someone in the comments i'll show the necklace in my next video because i haven't gotten it yet but i will and i cannot wait to see who gets chosen because i've always wanted to do a giveaway for jewelry and this is the perfect opportunity so Thank you guys so much once again, and I will see you guys in my next video. Good luck.